ಬಂದೇಹಂ The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 5th Canto, 5th Chapter, Text Number 21, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 9th of November, 1976, in Vrindavan, India. Sri Rupam Translation of the two energies manifest, spirit and dull matter, beings possessing living force, that is, vegetables, grass, trees and plants, are superior to dull matter, or stone, earth, etc. Superior to non-moving plants and vegetables are worms and snakes, which can move. Superior to worms and snakes are animals that have developed intelligence. Superior to animals are human beings. and superior to human beings are ghosts because they have no material bodies superior to ghosts are the gandharvas and superior to them are the siddhas superior to the siddhas are the kinnaras and superior to them are the asuras superior to the asuras are the demigods and of the demigods indra the king of heaven is supreme superior to indra are the direct sons of lord brahma sons like king daksha and supreme among brahma's sons is lord shiva since lord shiva is the son of lord brahma brahma is considered superior but brahma is also subordinate to me the supreme personality of godhead because i am inclined to the brahmanas the brahmanas are best of all udut samaje sarishipasthesu sabodhanishya ತೋ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಪ್ರಮಥ ತಥೋಪಿ ಗಂಧರ್ವಸಿಧ್ಯಾಜೆ ದೇವಾಸುರೆಭ್ಯೋ ಮಗವತ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ದುಃಖಾದಯೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಸುತಸ್ತು ತವಪ್ಪರಸ್ಸೋತ ಬಿರಂಚ ಬೀಜ ಸಮತ್ಪರೋ ಅಹಂ ದಿಜದೇವದೇವ ಸ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ವಿಶಬ್ದ analyzing the different grades of living entities bhuteshu anything which is generated janma dasya jata everything is generated from krishna para brahma aham sarvasya prabhu from krishna everything is generated but according to consciousness they are divided into two energies the superior energy and the inferior energy the more the consciousness is developed one comes to the platform of superior so the dull stone dull matter they have no consciousness but there is life we learn from brahma sanghita that the supreme personality of god head is within the atom atom is not that atom was not known atomic energy was not known to the basic scholars annantarastham paramanuchayantarastham govindavadhisam anoraniya mahato mahiya the supreme lord can enter even within the atom mm-hmm. they they are studying modern scientists the atomic energy but still that part plays is smaller than proton electron and so on thing still 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 so there is life even within the atom but scientists because they are materialistic person 
they cannot understand where from the energy, the life energy is emanated. Otherwise, the life energy is there even within the atom. So, the life energy begins, virudva. The plants, the grass, there is life in town. Gradually, there are different grades, jalajanam lakthani, sthavara lakkhavinsati, primayodhidra sankhaka, pakshinam dasalakkhakam. In this way, this is evolutionary growth, one after another. The evolution takes place. Evolution means gradual evolution or manifestation of consciousness. That is evolution. So the atheist class of men, because they cannot understand that there is soul, they cannot understand that evolution means evolution of consciousness. They do not understand. They are thinking that the originally the matter, there was no life, all of a sudden the life came. No. Life is completely different from the matter. Not completely different. It is the same energy from the Supreme Lord. The one is develop, the other is not develop. In this way, as Brahma has defined, matparo aham dhijadeva deva. So, in this way, within this material world, there are varieties of developed consciousness, and in the spiritual world, when he surpass, transcends, the material world, parastasmat bhava anya, when we are promoted to the other energy, other world, then our consciousness, even when one is transmitted to the spiritual world, the first is Brahma Jyoti, their consciousness is also not developed. Even one has gone to the spiritual world where everything is spiritual. Arujya kritchena param padam tata patanti adha anadhyajusmadanghaya. That means consciousness is fully developed when he is a devotee, when one adores the lotus feet of the Lord, Jusmat Angra. So those who are promoted even to the Brahma Jyoti, they are also not fully conscious. Fully conscious means a devotee. Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma That is full consciousness. Without this consciousness, Krishna consciousness, there is no question of Full fledged. It's like a small bud of a flower. First of all, the seed. The seed grows, then the buds come out, then gradually the buds develop, it becomes flower, then full fledged power, then fragrance, beauty, everything is developed. That is Real development. Similarly, this is the process of development. When one comes to Krishna consciousness, then it is full fledged flower with fragrance, beauty, and everything. That is the perfection. So, there are so many descriptions of different types of living entities within this material world. But these so-called scientists, on account of their being Buddha or Askers, they are studying that except in this planet 
everywhere there is dust and rocks. This is their foolishness. No. Here it is stated that Siddhya hmm? Tato Manishya Pramatha Satopi Gandharva Siddhya. You see development. Siddha. Siddha means those who have got yogic mystic power. Siddhi, Astra Siddhi, Anima, Lagima, Mohima, Prapti, Sita, Vasita. These are called Siddhis. And nowadays, so called yogis, they show some gymnastic. That is not Siddhi. Siddhi is different thing. One can become smaller than the smallest. That is called anima. One can become bigger than the biggest. Just like Hanuvandi. He jumped over the sea. This is Mahima Siddhi. One can become as big as it were. Just like there is water. A grown up man can cross water by jumping, but a small child cannot do. So, proportionately, if you increase your body by the Mahima Siddhi, you can jump over this thing. That is possible. So these are called Siddhas. We have got description in the Srimad Bhagavatam about the Siddha Loka. There the people can go from one planet to another in this body. That is called Siddhi. Here we are trying to go to other planet with the machine and still we are failure. But in the Siddha Loka they can go very easily from one planet to another with this body. They are Siddhas. So these descriptions are there. There are Gandharva Lokas. Kindanas, Lokas, the topmost is a Brahma Loka, where Lord Brahma lives and other persons, many, everywhere. Not that simply the chief man lives, his assistant, his paraphernalia, everything is there. Just like we understand from Bhagavad Gita, Imang Vivasati Yugam Praktavan Hamamayam. Vivasate, Vivasan is the sun god. The sun god, Krishna, instructed him this Bhagavad Gita. He says personally, even Vivasate is Yogam Pratyamat. So do not think that simply there is sun. No. It is a very, very big planet, fourteen hundred thousand times bigger than this planet. Don't think that there is vacant. No. We get information from Bhagavad Gita that every planet is full of living entities. It is not vacant. But they have got different types of bodies. It is not vacant. Different types of body. In Brahma Sangata we understand the saprabha prabhavatu jagadanna koti koti su asesa vibhuti bhinnam asesa vasudha vibhuti bhinnam There are in each universe within the Brahma Jyoti there are innumerable Brahmandas universes. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was requested by one of his devotees, my Lord, he have come here to deliver the fallen souls. So kindly take them with you. And if you think that they are sinful, they cannot go with me back to home, back to Godhead. So you kindly transfer all their sinful life to me. I shall suffer here, let them go with you. This is Vaishnava. Paradukha Dukhi. Vaishnava can accept all kinds of sufferings provided others are benefited. 
This is Vaishnava. What are the Khudukti? This is the sample of Vishnu. He is requesting Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that, my Lord, you have come to deliver the fallen soul. In the material world, everyone is fallen. So you take them. And if you think they are so sinful they cannot go, then transfer that sins to me. I shall continue to suffer many lives, but you take them. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very pleased by his statement. So he replied also. He said, suppose the whole universe I take with me, then what is the loss in this material world? There are millions of universes. He compared that in a bag of mustard, if I take out one mustard, then what is the loss there? So similarly, Krishna's creation, God's creation is unlimited. That they do not understand. They are the frogs in the well. They are thinking, Kubamandu Kanda. Everyone is thinking, the Kubamandu is thinking that this is the whole water within this well, this three feet span of water. That is final. And if you say to the Kubamandu, I have seen another vast water, Atlantic Ocean. He cannot imagine. So these rascals, those who are unaware of the potency uh, of God, they think that God may be like me. I am so little powerful. He may be little more powerful. Therefore they cannot understand what is God because they are thinking in their own terms. And somebody is thinking that I am God. So this misconception should be given up. He is anoraniyanga mahato mahiya. Manishya, these are gradual. Pramatha. Pramatha, they are also living entities. We have heard some of them about the ghost. They have no material body. The advantage of material body, the they are covered with mind, intelligence, and ego. But their gross body, heart, water, air, fire, that is not there. So, one king, he also rejected the material body and remained videha. The videha king. So, one can remain like that without this gross body and subtle body. Uh, material, just like in the Vaikuntha Loka, that is. But in the material world, when one is not covered by the gross body, but subtle body, they are called ghosts or promoters. Those who are good, not harmful, they are called promoters. And those who are harmful, uh, as in this material world, there are good men and bad men. Similarly, amongst the persons who has no this gross body, they are sometimes called ghosts and sometimes they are called pramatha. So in this way, varieties of life, beginning from the insect and the aquatic animal up to the point of Lord Brahma, but they are all within this material world. It does not mean because the Gandharvas, Siddhas, they have got higher standard of life and power hundreds and thousands times more than our power. Do not think that they are liberated persons. They are not liberated persons. They are all conditioned souls. bhavana loka all these conditions so, according to Parma, they are getting different types of body. One has got the body of an ant and one has got the body of Brahma, Lord Brahma. But that is not our aim. Our aim is how to avoid this material body. For that purpose, Krishna consciousness. Not that I have got 
now the body of an ant, let me get the body of Brahma or Indra or in the Siddha Loka. This is not gain. Therefore, those who are devotees, they do not care either for Brahma or for the ant. They do not care. Kaival Ranga Narakayati Tidasa Pura Akasa Puspayati Vidhi Mahindra Adhishtya Kichayati For a devotee, Vidhi means Lord Brahma. And Mahindra means this. Bhagavad, here it is said, means Indra. So for a devotee, they treat equally either Brahma or Indra, Kitavad, just like an ant, because they know that he may be Brahma, he may be Indra, but he has got this material body as a small insect, it has got material. Kaival Naganarakayate, Tidasapura Akasa Puspayate, Duddhanta Indriya Kala Sattva Patali Pratkhata Dhamastrayate, Vilimayandra Adhishtya Kichayate, Puram Sukhayate, Vishyam Puram Sukhayate, Jatkarana Katakha Vaivavatam Gaurami Vastama. This is a verse by Pravdhananda Sarasati. He gives his opinion that if one is favored by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that Katakha Bhavibhavata, Gaurami was, I am offering my respectful obeisances to Lord Chaitanya because a little glance of his mercy creates this situation. What is that? Koivallaganarakarati. The people are very anxious to merge into Koivala, Brahma Jyoti, only spirit. So for them, that Koivala is Narak, here, Koivala Narakaya. And Tidasapura Akasa Puspaya. Tidasapura means the heavenly planets where the demigods, as it is described, the Gandhar, Bhaskindar, or Siddha, they live. They are like flowers in the sky, wheel of the wheel. No factual happiness. Kaivalanganarakayati Tidasapura Akasa Puspaya. And Duddhanta Indriya Kala Sattva Patati Prudkhata Dhamastraya. And Indriya Sangyama, the yogis, they are trying to control the senses. Yoga Indriya Sangyama, that is the real purpose. Our Indriyas are so disturbing that like Kala Sattva, you are sitting here, if one snake comes immediately, you will all disturb. Immediately. So, disturbing why? Because every one of us will know here is a Kala Sattva. Kala Sattva means anyone it bites immediately death. Immediately death. But this Kala Sattva, is dreadful, vicious, so long the fangs are there. The prathata dhamastrayati is the fang, the poison fangs are taken away. Or if you know, here is a snake, but these snakes, fangs have been taken away, will not be afraid. Vishayincha. Vishayincha. So, for a devotee, this kalasat properly, automatically subdued because they do not use the senses for sense gratification. They are engaged in the service of Krishna. If our senses are engaged in the service of Krishna, then the poisonous fangs are taken away. It is no more dreadful. There is no need of practicing Indriya Sangyama. Indriya Sangyama automatically. One who is Krishna conscious, he is not disturbed. That's why Haridasta. He did not go to control the senses, but because he was chanting, he practiced chanting. A beautiful prostitute at dead of night offered her body to be enjoyed. 
He said, yes, I shall satisfy you. Please sit down. Let me finish my chart. This is Kala Sattva Padavi, Patkhav Nostaya. Just not even hesitate. This is the benefit of becoming a favorite servant of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Thank you very much.